Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome to another video in the series where we look at building a patch from scratch for the Korg monologue. So today we're going to be trying to make an organ sound. Uh, when I say an organ sound, I'm thinking of the sort of Hammond organ, tone wheel, draw bar kind of thing that if you are a much better keyboardist than me, you can do all of your <laughs> ripping solos on. Um, personally, I don't have that level of skill. Um, but let's see if we can make the sound at least. So uh, initialize patch, as always. So uh, a drawbar organ like a Hammond is actually essentially an additive synthesizer where a number of basic waveforms, simple waveforms are added together, separated or arranged in the harmonic series uh, to, to build up richer sounds. So rather than having a rich sound to begin with like a sawtooth wave, what we do instead is we layer more basic waveforms like a triangle wave, but at different intervals to build up that richer sound. Now the monologue is, uh, it's a subtractive synth with only two VCOs. So we're gonna have to pull a couple of tricks here to really get away with this sound, but we can do it. So um, we'll start by setting the VCO to, um, to triangle. And we're gonna bring in VCO2 and also set it to triangle. And we're going to put it somewhere else in the harmonic series. So I'm going to put it up an octave and then also um, up around a fifth. Or thereabouts. Okay, so now we've got this kind of sound going on. It's not exactly a, an organ sound, but maybe like a very, very basic church organ thing going on. Let's see if we can make it better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch VCO2 into ring mod mode. So this is going to ring modulate VCO2 with, or rather have VCO1 ring modulate the VCO2, which is going to introduce additional harmonics. It's starting to sound a bit more organy. The other thing that it will do is if the oscillators are out of tune, just slightly, it's going to emphasize that beating. That might also give us a bit more of a realistic organ sound. It's starting to emphasize those um, higher harmonics as well. Okay, so that's two oscillators and we're abusing ring mods to get um, a bit more harmonic interest, but I could do with maybe one more um, oscillator. So we're going to use the trick that I showed in one of my other videos where we're going to use the filter as an additional uh, oscillator by cranking its resonance. So we've got an additional sort of uh, harmonic sound in there, but at the moment it's going to stay still, um, but we really want it to move with the keyboard. So we're going to go into edit mode, go up to the fourth um, light here. We're going to click until we get to cut off key track, turn that on to 100%. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically move the cutoff knob um, for us as we move our, uh, as we play different keys. So that's basically going to move this third oscillator around. Okay, so this is starting to sound a bit more like an organ. This is already also sounding hopefully quite cool in the lower registers. Nice. Okay, so there are a couple of things that we can do to make this a little bit more convincing. One of the main things that's missing for me at the start of the sound at the moment is that there's no click. If you listen to a lot of um, Hammond organ sounds, there's this very distinct click at the start of each note, and we're, we're missing that at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our envelope generator, and we're going to aim it at pitch 2. kind of works aiming at pitch as well overall, but I'm having experimented, I slightly prefer it on pitch two. Uh, we're going to send a bunch of intensity over to there. So if we had um, our envelope generator, oh, by the way, we'll have it on 
gate and envelope rather than any of the modes. So if if we send a bunch of pitch to um, sorry a bunch of intensity to pitch two at the moment with a long decay, we get space sounds, but it's not very organy. But if we bring this decay right the way down. start of the note so this is without it this is it with it okay so that's helping um, as far as I'm concerned cool okay so what else can we do so um, one thing that you tend to get with your, your big organ solos is that we've got a bit of overdrive on it so I'm just gonna bring up the drive control until you start to hear the fizz. Start to hear the fizz there. I'm just going to bring it back to the fizz is almost subliminal because I don't want too much of that. So um, what else can we do? Well, one of the things I've discovered almost by accident is that if we adjust the shape control on VCO2, it's almost like bringing in additional drawbars. That's because the um, shape control on the triangle wave essentially performs wave folding, um, which eventually gives us octave, uh, sorry, frequency doubling, essentially. So we get a bunch of additional harmonics happening. So um, we can do something like this. <laughs> So that's interesting. So that might well be a candidate for what we put on our modulation lever because we don't really want pitch bend on there. So that's one thing we can look at. The other thing that's kind of missing from the organ sound at the moment is we kind of want that Leslie thing happening. Now, we've got nothing here that's going to properly approximate a Leslie speaker. But if we send a bunch of LFO um, sort of on slow mode triangle over to the shape of the oscillators we can begin to get some of that kind of Leslie vibe. So I think uh, that's what I'm going to put on my modulation lever because then I can bring it in and out. So I'll turn the intensity back down to zero. Sounds quite boring without it now. If we go into edit mode and we'll go over to the second uh, light, which is our slider sign, I'm going to go across until I see my LFO intensity. There we go. And that means that I can bring that Leslie effect in and out. I think we've got a pretty passable kind of organ sound now. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you found it interesting and informative and all that stuff. If you did, please hit those thumbs, um, give it the like, and also make sure you've subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos on the Korg Monologue and synthesis in general. Thank you again for watching, everyone. See you soon.